Today, I want to talk about Ciara's iconic debut album, Goodies. We're going to talk about the impact she made and print she left when she entered the industry. The Atlanta-based singer Ciara, fresh out of high school at the young age of 18, debuted with her hit single, Goodies, and drew everyone's attention to her. which was the response to Petey Pablo's Freakily, which was a refusal to the male sexual advances. Goodies was a massive hit, peaking number one on the Billboard's Hot 100 for seven weeks, becoming the longest running number one debut single by a female artist on the chart since 1977. Ciara's video to the chart topping single showcased the singer's phenomenal dancing skills that had people equating her to the legendary Michael and Janet Jackson. Before I was doing everything, um, I was dancing, I was doing modeling. I always wanted to be an entertainer, I just didn't know in what capacity. Ciara worked with some of the most talented producers in music when creating goodies, such as Jazzy Faye who discovered Ciara. John to Austin, Sean Garrett, Bangladesh, and R. Kelly, among many others. Ciara worked alongside Missy Elliott to create her second single, One Two Step. Which blew up on the charts, peaking top 10 worldwide in several countries. Ciara would go on to be dubbed the Princess of Crunk and B, a mixture of R&B, pop, and hip hop. Her album was an album you didn't skip through, only to hear the hit singles that were released as singles, but an album you played from beginning to end, from ballads like an I. I and to semi-slow jams like Other Chick. Title and next to you were songs you jammed to on a summer night car ride. The album was an album that was worth the hype and could be listened to by any crowd from young to old. Sierra's Goodies era was my absolute favorite from her appearances on 106 and Park teaching us how to do the Matrix. <laughs> to the iconic videos with the choreography we all gathered up with our friends to learn and singing our young hearts out to end I. We fell in love with Ciara, her southern charm, and her humble attitude aside from her beauty. One, two steps. Yo. Oh, it's truly an honor, you know what I mean? Um, you know, to, to know that they, you know, acknowledge me as an artist and, you know, my work, it, it definitely means a lot to me. And this is like my first prestigious award, so it's definitely a moment for me. I feel really blessed. She was the roundaway girl who everyone rooted for and made everyone proud to be a supporter of such a rare talent that doesn't come by every day. Ciara had a beautiful, light, airy voice. Although people didn't think she was a strong singer, she had her own unique sound that if you heard her on the radio, you know exactly who was singing. And every time you're out on the road, I'll make a trip. And whenever I'm doing a show, don't you forget that I'm your main chick. Who got that game chick? Goody sold over 125,000 copies and debuted at number three on the US Billboard 200. Selling over 124,000 copies is opening week. Later being certified triple platinum by the RIAA. Goody sold over 5 million copies worldwide. I gotta thank Soul Train for giving me this prestigious award. I mean, it's my first award of my career, first, first prestigious award, and I won't forget it. Sierra will go on to be nominated for two Grammys, one for Best New Artist and the other for Melodic Rap Performance. I believe Ciara was snubbed by the Grammys and she should have won for Best New Artist due to such a strong introduction and an incredible body of work on the album goodies. And that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite song from off of the goodies album. See you in the next video. Okay, CC, show them how we do it in ATL, girl. Say go, see, see, go, see, see, go.